Well, talking of problems, let's segue to what I think is a grotesque problem, which is that Variety magazine has come out... It's a Hollywood Bible, obviously, has revealed its 100 best television shows of all time today. And there is one British show in the entire 100, which is Fleabag at number 82. Almost all the others are American. No Monty Python, no Faulty Towers, no Brideshead Revisited, no Downton Abbey... None, not even the original Office. It's got the American version, but not the great original one with Ricky Gervais. What is going on here? Even you can't surely pretend this is any way genuine. Well, I looked at the list, and I agree with some of it. I disagree with others. But, Piers, you and I have talked about this before. We export culture over to you guys in the U.K. We export all of that, and sometimes it's good, and it's great content, and sometimes it's woke crap. <laughs> so you have to take the good with the bad. But, unfortunately, we still do reign supreme when it comes to content and entertainment. Love it or really? hate it. Well, me... I am happy to say, though, that a lot of these shows... Well, let me just say, look, number three was The Sopranos. A lot of these shows on the list are... No, The Sopranos, are... look, I'll give you Sopranos was great. Yep. Mad Men number two, great. And uh, by the way, The West Wing for me is the greatest series of all time, and that's in there, and that's great. But number one, I Love Lucy. Come on, that's, that's the greatest TV show ever made? Really? No, I, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Piers, I think maybe your show may be up there on the list. Of course, Thank you. our show's on the Fox News channel. <laughs> I would put them on the list. So I think that maybe we need another list. I am happy to say, though, that a lot of these shows on the list, at least they're not woke. At least they're not about transgender refugees of color somewhere <laughs> on an island. Uh, you know, that will probably you know the be the show, list actually. in the next 10 years. But as of now... <laughs> Talking of non-woke shows, the one I loved this year more than any other was Yellowstone, which is actually a beautiful antidote against the woke mindset and world. It's set in cowboy country. It's brilliant. You and I can probably agree that Yellowstone is brilliant, right? Yellowstone is brilliant, and as somebody who comes from a ranching family in middle America, I got to tell you, there's a reason why that stuff does so well. And even yeah. liberal audiences love it. Unfortunately, the, all the liberals are also moving to Montana, which we don't necessarily love. <laughs> I'd like to move. A great I want to move to Montana. I want to buy a ranch in Montana. Tommy Lane, we've run out of time. Great to see you. Uh, see you soon.